UDPFI Urban and Regional Development Plans Formulation and Implementation Guidelines It provides a framework for plan preparation and implementation process Primarily it is meant for the guidance of state town and country planning departments urban development authorities and urban local bodies for the preparation of master plans development plans and formulating the norms and standards thereof in order to ensure the planned development of towns UDPFI regulation suggests establishing the mixed use zones and encouraging the transit oriented development as tos and this can be done by unlocking the land values as high emphasis in transit corridor within the planning framework to encourage the public transport system apart from the normally permissible fsi there are other factors which affects the fsi norms like transfer development rights tdr additional fsi premium fsi and transit oriented development influential zones as tod zones tdr you have two type of rights for the land you own one is developing on the same side or the other is transferring the development rights alone to the other side that is building your own fsi area which is obtained from the existing site as a tdr and this should be built in some other sites as additional fsi the main purpose of this concept is to utilize additional fsi applying from the development zone to the under development zone as additional fsi let us see an tdr calculation example if the plot extent is 500 square meters abutting at the road a where the floor area allowable is 1.5 then the calculation will be like your plot area is 500 meter square and your permissible floor area is 1.5 times so your buildable floor area will be 500 by 1.5 times so it is 750 square meters is the actual built up area if suppose you are surrendering a area of 100 square meters from your plot extent of 500 square meters as tdr then for the 100 square meters you are surrendering you will get an additional fsa of 1.5 which is 150 square meters additional floor areas so your plot area now will be 500 square meter minus that 100 square meter gifted as a tdr is 400 square meters so for the land which you are having 400 square meters is eligible for 750 square meters of fsa only with the tdr fsa you can build more 150 meter square so you can build 900 square meters in the plot of 400 meter square premium fsa so what is premium fsa uh, regardless of zone location and building type there are some allowable fsa if you need to extend the allowable floor space index you have to pay a premium fee to the government to avail this fsa the abutting road of the land must be at least 30 feet wide for example 30 to 40 feet road width 20 percent premium fsa is allowed and for 40 to 60 feet of road width 30 percent premium fsa is allowed and if it is more than a 60 feet road then 40 percent premium fsa is allowed if the land location of the building is between 30 and 40 feet abutting the roadway then you can make avail the premium fsa of 20 percent which means you can build 20 percent more than the allowable fsa for example if you have a thousand square feet of land located near a 30 feet road where the normal fsa is 1.5 then you can make avail of the premium fsa 20 percent by paying the premium transit oriented development areas in order to encourage transit sensitive activities additional fsa is allowed in these corridors in delhi for example in the national capital region ncr the permissible fsa is between 1.2 and 3.5 as per the delhi master plan 2021 however it encourages higher fsa and height around the 500 meter on both sides from the center line of MRTS major transport corridor earmark as influence zone redevelopment projects are also granted a maximum FSA value of 4 in Tamil Nadu in order to encourage transit sensitive activities and to allow densification in any mass rapid transit system in the state the government may prescribe such regulations including premium FSA at concession rates as may be necessary from time to time in case of metro rail corridors existing and proposed properties located within a distance of 500 meter measured from the center line of the corridor premium fsa shall be charged at 50 percent of the normal premium fsa rate non-fsa non-fsa areas cover car parking area five percent of the area covered under balconies space for generators electrical rooms association rooms etc the spaces excluded from fsa and coverage computations are in the terrace above the topmost stories Areas covered by the staircase rooms and lift rooms and passages there to architectural features, elevated tanks and water closets. Staircases and lift rooms and passage there to in the still parking floors or upper floors used for the parking. Staircase and lift rooms and passage there to the basement floor or the floors used for the parking. Area of the basement floor or the floors used for the parking or area of the still floor provided it open on all sides. Servant or driver's bathroom and water closet for each blocks and watchman board 
and caretaker booth or rooms in the ground floor or a still parking floors 